Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. As you know, this is Inner Conversations, a safe place of discussion and discovery. Right now, I'm going to do a shadow message. This is times of especially, oh my God, I forgot to say, I'm your resident love spirit guy, Pinky. How have you been? Um, Right now, this is the time of the shadow. This is the time where Virgo season, Scorpio season, this is like motherfucking Halloween in this bitch. Like, the spirits are risen. The dead is here because the field is so light. And when I say the field is so light, it's like a crossover of light and dark. And if you don't, if, if you don't abide by the warning signs that spirit has given you about certain darkness, the darkness will trap you and the darkness will take a hold of you. And one thing that spirit is being big in is really trying to get us connected with our shadow side and it's not even trying to get us connected to our shadow side but standing in power in our shadow side but also walking in the light like you can love your shadow you can represent your shadow but you don't need to be you don't need to always be walking with her I am <laughs> just like being too too lighty is too bad so being too dark is just too fucking too much of anything is bad for you and that's really what your shadow side is really saying <clears throat> okay I really don't feel like I have to pray over this one. And it's crazy that I say that, but I've been praying all day. <laughs> it's channeled. And that's really what your shadow is. Like, your shadow does not want to follow protocol. And your shadow is basically saying, like, get up and do what you need to do for yourself and your soul. This is the time where the shadow is actually going to be in an all-time high. And you actually have a functioning shadow that really just cares about you. And this is your season where you need to be selfish. So this is your season where you need to indulge in the selfishness. If your shadow want to go and you know make the millions of money the billions of money that you've been saying that you're gonna make but you gotta cut these people off and your shadow been ready to cut these people off because you've been ready to go into a new adventure and you gotta think of it like your shadow is the part of you that will cut somebody off your shadow is the part of you that will um what is it leave that job that will make up its mind and be selfish because your shadow is selfish because your shadow only cares about itself. So it doesn't care to follow protocol. It is rebellious. It is rebelling. It, 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 it's, something, it's something about, I'm telling you, it's something about spirit God intuitions when she would say, like, you're the rebellious one. And that's something that's sticking with me lately. Because a lot of us are in these times where we need to be more rebellious. But honestly, I'm going to be real honest with y'all. If you are wanting to just have fun, be rebellious. But right now, this is the season where have fun, but still have fun in moderation. So, like, your shadow is saying, yes, we can have fun, but we don't have to. We wouldn't be so impulsive if you listened to us earlier on in life. I pray you understand. And what I mean is y'all are the group that avoids. You avoid yourself heavily. And you go to God when all your priorities and expectations have ran out for your life. And it's like stop prioritizing God last and prioritize him first. Meaning start prioritizing the shadow in you, the negativity in you. That was my 11-11 alarm. Every move I make. Everything I speak is guided by God. Every move I make, everything I speak is guided by God. Y'all, and then your shadow is also saying you're picking up on other people's shadow. You're picking up on other people's fears. You're picking up on other people's energy. So a lot of the time, all this self-hatred, all of this self-doubt, all of this throwing up feeling, this rejection feeling, it's because you're birthing a new self. And because you are pregnant with a new spirit, you can be more acceptable to the energies around you. And the energies around you can be dark before they're fucking light i promise you because you know your light irritates a lot of people's demons and you've been doing the work of what god has been telling you to do okay i know this is all over the place y'all like i'm telling y'all <laughs> pick up what you can put down okay pick up and kill it and kill it and kill it pick up and kill it who been watching while and out let me know let me know. And then it's something about, like, your shadow saying, like, you're unorthodox. Stop stop trying to, like, make a, make a routine within the chaos. Like, 
make a routine within the chaos. You know your chaos. You know your activity level. You know how chaotic you want to be and how chaotic you are. So scheduling time to be a little chaotic, like your shuttle's just saying, learn fucking balance. Learn fucking balance. Learn when to go play, but also learn when to sit down and have more fun. But also learn when you need to just be working right now because the months that you're going to be working for three months is the next two years you're not even going to have to work as fucking hard understand understand how to still reassure your shadow even as your shadow is not being able to lead conversations or voice its opinion it it, it's some i'm telling y'all this is a lot with the shadow because the shadow is really just saying like girl like i just need you to reassure me i still need you to be there for me i don't need you to leave me behind your shadow is the part of you that literally just craves you so if you have a part of you that literally craves you that means you need to get to craving yourself a little bit more um let's see this is spirit guides virgo energy who you follow tides that means in the connection y'all 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 have y'all have tides y'all have certain spiritual ties soul ties soul energies um unfollow everybody just because you don't interact on social sites does not mean you are a good you are a fake friend it's business it's business it's business it's business okay let's see favor for this week make a wish list i promised at least one or all things on this list will be brought for you Oh my God, so your your shadow is basically saying your doubt is what's getting you the most. Because even in this reading, it's like everything in me does not want to keep going. And it does not want to make me move forward. It, it really wants me to like just slow down and sit down and not ponder on anything. And one thing that I'm going to tell y'all is the biggest thing that you need to do is breathe. <laughs> you need to breathe. You need to breathe. You need to breathe. You need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot going on.